Today in this video, I'm going to introduce an AI powered face wrapping tool where you could upload a target photo and a source photo and within just a single click of the button, the AI will replace the face in that particular photo and you can instantly download it. You don't have to go through any setup or configuration process or you don't even have to enter a prompt. You just upload the photo, hit a button and the face is already swapped. And yet another interesting thing is that after you do the face swapping, if you want to, you can turn that particular photo into a video right within this platform as well. Well, I'm talking about Hicksfield and their face swap tool. And in this video, I'll show you how you can use this particular tool to instantly replace faces from any images in seconds. So let's quickly get started. So this right here is Hicksfield AI and this right here is the AI platform that I've been talking about. And we are particularly interested in the face swap tool. So to access the same, all you have to do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to the face swap tool. So as you can see, here it says face swap by Hicksfield or you can also head over to Hicksfield AI website directly and underneath the image option, you'll be able to find this tool that says face swap. So just select the same. And again, if this is your first time, just click on the sign up button and sign up for a new account. And once you're logged in and once you access the face swap tool, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. And towards the bottom, as you can see, here we have two options. The first one is that you need to upload your face or whatever face that you want to replace in this particular section. And you also want to upload the target image in the second input area right here. And after that, you can simply click on this button right here and the AI will do the rest. So just as for demo, here I have prepared some photos and I'll show you how I replace, you know, uh, faces in those photos and just for demonstration purposes here I have opened up one of my YouTube video thumbnails as you can see here I have my face and take a look at all these textual elements and the quality of the image by the way and now what I'm planning is that I want to replace me with some other person in this particular thumbnail so what I'll do is I'll first of all add it to the target image section right here so this is the photo in which I want to replace the face and next up you need to get the face which you want to add to the target image and upload that in here. And for example, let's just say this right here is the photo of the person with the face that I want to replace or let's say add to the target photo. So I'll just drag and drop that in here. So as you can see here, I have uploaded the face with the photo and also the target photo in which I want to replace the face. So both of them are added. And next up, I'll click on this Hicksfield face swap option right here and you'll be able to select the model that you want to use. So here we have a lot of options like Hicksfield face swap. So right now this right here is selected as Hicksfield face swap. So I'll select the same. And again, you also have the option to select the aspect ratio as well. So in this case, I'll keep it as auto. And now all I have to do is to click on this generate button right here and the AI will do the magic. So as you can see, it is currently in queue and within seconds, the AI will replace the face in the photo and show the result in here. And the interesting thing about using Hicksfield is that you no need to train an AI model by uploading like 20 to 30 photos or do anything as such. So normally if you want to do it, you will have to get like 20 to 30 photos like in different poses and all that and then train an AI model. And after that, you will have to swap the faces. Well, in Hicksfield, you don't have to do any of that. Just sign up on the platform, upload the photo with the face and the target photo and click on the generate button and that should be it. So let's just wait for it anyways. So there you go. The image is ready and I can open it up real quick and look at that. The quality is not lost and more importantly, the face is swapped, the hair and the spectacle is preserved and look at that. Even the facial expression is preserved. And if you take a look at the overall image, the quality is not dropped at all. Okay. So this is how simple it is to replace a face in a photo. So this right here is the first one. Next up, I'll try to, okay, next up what I'll do is I'll try to upload a photo and replace the face. And after that, I'll try to turn that converted photo into a video right within Hicksfield itself. So first of all, I need to find both the photo that I want to upload. So this right here is the target face. So this is the photo of the face that I want to add to another photo. So I'll just drag and drop it in this your photo section. And next up, let's just say I want to add that face to this particular photo. Okay. And now I'll just drag and drop that in here. And next step, you can select the model. So in this case, Hicksfield face swap, that's already selected. I'll keep aspect ratio as it is, and I can click on the generate button. And I actually did this conversion or the face swap. And this right here is the result that you see. So I can open it up. Look at that. Exact same form factor, exact same image, but the face is replaced. And then I try to turn this photo into a video. Okay. So after you face swap, like after you do the face swap, if you open the result, Towards the bottom side, you will find an option that says video and speak. 
So if you want to make this person speak a script, you can click on the speak button and enter the script and then you can make a video of this person speaking whatever that you entered. And you also have this video option where you can then give a prompt and animate and create a video out of this image. So all you have to do is to click on this video button right here. And now in this case, I already generated a video and the prompt that I gave is that a cinematic scene of this person turning away and walking. Okay, this photo right here. And I also selected the model. And in this case, I selected VAN 2.5 fast, but you have the option to select Open AI Sora 2, Google VO, VAN, Kling, Students, or even the Higgs field model. And after that, you can select the duration and also the resolution. And all you have to do is to click on this generate button. And after doing that, this is the video that I got. And I'm skipping all that part because it takes some time to generate the video. But again, this right here is the output. So let me quickly play it for you. We even have sound effects, by the way. Wow. The person looking away and walking away. Okay, so that's how simple it is. And next step, I'll head back to the face swap tool and we'll try to do face swap for, let's say, one more image. For example, let's just say this right here is the photo, like the target photo. So I'll just add that in here. And let's just say I want to add the face of this particular person, that is this kid, to this particular photo. Let's see how it goes. So I'll just drag and drop it in here. I'll keep all other settings as it is. And now I'll click on generate image and let's wait for it. So there you go. The conversion is complete and look at that. This right here is the image and as you can see, we have added the face of the boy to this particular image and it's perfectly blended, right? Okay, that also looks good. And before I wind up the video, I'll also try to do one more uh, face swapping. So here I already have the images ready and this right here is the target image. So I'll just drag and drop that in here. And next step, this right here is the image of the person's face that I want to use. And I'll upload that in here. And again, I'll click on generate. And let's see. So there you go. Here we have the results ready. And this right here is the final image. And as you can see, only the face is replaced and the spectacle and the beanie or the hat or cap, whatever that you want to call it, is in here. So it is as easy as this, right? And again, if I want to turn this photo into a video, I have options for that too. So this is how simple it is to do face swapping between two images and that too in just a single click. And even if you want to turn this face swapped image into a video, you have options for that too. So if you do want to do face swapping with AI, all you have to do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to Higgsfield AI AI face swap tool and you can start using it instantly. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in today's video. I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.